Okay, so this example is a uh, equilibrium of a particle in three dimensions. So we have a flower pot with a mass of 40 kilograms and it's all in place by three um, cables. So the first steps will be to make the free body diagram. We will use the particle A. We have the weight that is going down and 40 times 9.81 is 392.4. Okay, uh, let's see the axes. So we have ax, oops, I want to make them in gray. Ax, the y, and the z. W is aligned with the z axis. Uh, the tension that we don't know, there's TAC, aligned with i hat with ax, TAB, Align with the Y and TAD is going somewhere on the back, something like that. So the first, now the second steps will be to write, oops, what I did, write the forces uh, in Cartesian notation form. Cartesian notation form. Okay, so we have W that is on Z, so minus 392.4 on K at. We have the tension TAC, oops, TAC that is on I at only, so TAC magnitude time direction I at. We have TAB. That is equal to the magnitude of TAB and it's aligned with J at. And after that, we need to find TAD. So remember, we need to find the vector position, the unit vector, and at the end, we can have the TAD. So let's find first the RAD vector position. Okay. So we go from A to D. First on I at, we are going minus 1.5 on I at. On J at, we are going minus 2 on J at, and on Z, we are going up, so plus 1.5 on K at. So that's the vector RAD. The magnitude of RAD is the square root of 1.5 square plus 2 square plus 1.5 square. That's the square root of 8.5. So we can write the unit vector UAD. That is the magnitude, that is the vector RAD divided by the magnitude for each component. So we have minus 1.5 divided by the square root of 8.5 on I at, minus 2 divided by the square root of 8.5 on J at, plus 1.5 divided by the square root of 8.5 on K at. So that's for the unit vector. So now that we find the unit vector direction, we can write TAD. In terms of the magnitude of the unit vector. So minus 1.5 divided by square root of 8.5 TAD on I at, minus 2 divided by the square root of 8.5 TAD on J at, and plus 1.5 divided by the square root of 8.5 on K at. Here we go. So now we have all the vector, we have W, we have TAC, we have TAB, and we have TAD, this huge one. Okay. Oops. We have three unknowns, the magnitude of TAC, the magnitude of TAB, and the magnitude of TAD. Oops, I forget TAD on this one. TAD, right? But that's the same. So that's a three unknowns. So we only need three equations and we are on a particle, so we can solve only for three equations. So that's perfect. If we look closer to the equation, TAD is the only force that has a force on K. Okay. So maybe we should use this one first, this equation first. So we will use, oops, let me move this there, third equation of equilibrium. Oops. And the first equation that we will use is sum of the forces on z equals zero. 
because what we have on Z, if we look at the free body diagram, we have W, so minus 392.4, and we have this component for TAD, plus 1.5 divided by the square root of 8.5 for TAD, and it's equal to zero, and we can solve for TAD. So we got TAD, that is 392.4, time the square root of 8.5 and divided by 1.5. This is 70, 763 Newton. That's for TAD. Oops. One tension. And after that, we are lucky. We have, we can use TAC on J at or TAB. Uh, so it doesn't matter now. Sum of the forces on X is equal to zero. What do we have on x? We have TAC, that is on the positive i hat, and minus 1.5 divided by the square root of 8.5 time TAD equals 0. So we got TAC, that is equal to 1.5 divided by the square root of 8.5, and TAD is 7763 Newton. So we got TAC. It's equal to, so this one, time 1.5 and divided by the square root of 8.5. 392.4. We come back on our um, weight. Okay, so that was for the force on X. And let's do in purple the last one. We will use now uh, J at. So sum of the forces on Y equals 0. And we got TAB and minus 2 divided by the square root of 8.5 times TAD that we found before equals 0. And we we'll replace again TAD by 763. And we got TAB that is equal to 2 times 763 and divided by the square root of 8.5. That's 523. Uh, Newton. And I should write this one 392 Newton, just to keep three significative number. Oops, let's me square TAC and let's me square TAB. So we were able to solve for each unknown um, using, we were able to have one equation of equilibrium to solve for one unknown at a time, okay? But we need to look at the equations and we need to begin by sum of the forces on z equals zero. That's the first steps because that's, first, that's where we have an information. We have w, the value of w, and second, we just have TAD that has a complement on k, on z, on, uh, on k at on z. So that's it. It's a short, sweet problem. Just be careful to not make mistake at the beginning because it will show on your on all your answers after that see you in the next video bye bye